Hello, Divination, and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to insert Divi modules into other Divi modules without a plugin. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So, without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. So, the very first thing we need to do here is to create a brand new page. So, I'm going to come over here, click on Add New. So, you can name this page whatever you want. So, I'm just going to call this page Tutorial. Next, we're going to click on Use Divi Builder. And for this design, we're going to build everything from scratch. So I'm going to click on um, start building. So for this, we're going to need a single column. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. So in here, we're going to add a toggle module. So I'm just going to search for it. And here it is. All right. So we have all these areas now to add our text. So here where it says text goes here, this is where you'd add your title. So what I'm going to do now is to add this text here, which of course you can go ahead and copy and paste from our blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. Okay, so now that I've pasted this, the next step now is to add our contact form. So I'm going to save this, click on this plus button and search for my contact form and select it. So the idea here is to add this contact form inside this toggle. So the next step now is to head over to our CSS class of our contact form. So I'm going to come over here to CSS class and ID. So on the class, I am going to add this class. So make sure you add it the same way you're seeing it right here. So that's all we need to do for now. I'm going to go ahead and save. And then the next step now is to come over here to my row settings, click advanced. And we also need to add a class here. And I'm going to add it like that. So this is going to be our parent column. Okay, so make sure you add it as you see it like that. All right, so now that we're done here, the next step is to add another module. So I'm going to click on this plus button and this time the module here is going to be a code module. I'm going to select that. So first things first, you need to add your tags. So this is going to have some JavaScript. So I'm going to add my script here, opening and closing tags. And there we go. So you can see now it's created my opening and closing tags. So what we need to do now is to head over to the blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below and copy and paste the code in here. So this is what's going to make this all work. Okay, so I've gone ahead and copied the code. I'm going to come back over here and paste it. Okay, so now that I've pasted it, pretty much that's all I need to do. So I'm going to save this. Now let's take a look at the results. So I'm going to publish this, exit the Visual Builder. So now when I click on this plus button, you notice that we now have this form inside the toggle. So isn't that amazing? There we go. So our form now is inside the toggle. So the next step now is to stylize this and make it really look the way you want. So you can do quite a lot here. So let's go and enable the visual builder. So to style this, you can just click on this gear icon and go into your design. And you can start off with the fields here. So let's say you want to add a fields background color. You can just go in and start customizing it the way you want. So there's a lot of ways you can customize this. You can also come over here to our borders and also add a border to the bottom. And let's say you want this to be, say, three pixels. You can see just by doing that, I've now added my border and it's looking great already. So the style and the design here will just depend on how you want it to look. So let's say I save this. You can also customize here on the top. So let's say I go into the settings here. Same thing. I can just come over here to design. I can change the background color. I can go to the borders here and make changes to the border. And if I also want to customize my text, I can, you know, go in and customize the text the way I want. So let's say here we want to change this to, say, Poppins. I can just come over here, select that. And now that has been updated and I can also change the text color. So as you can see, the way we're designing this is pretty much straightforward. And the most important thing is once we hit Exit Visual Builder, this is where we get to see the really cool design. So again, I'm going to click here and you notice that our form is inside the toggle. So this is how you make changes to this. Now, let's say you want to make even more examples. So this is where you can have, say, for example, a header inside a footer. So let's say you want to have even other modules in here. You know, the process is the same. You can just go in and start adding all your modules inside that. 
All right, so let me show you some of the examples that we managed to achieve with the same technique that I've just shown you in this tutorial. So here we have uh, the exact one that we've just done. So this is a toggle which has a contact. So I'm going to click here and here's our contact form. Okay, and this works pretty much okay. It works the same way as our contact form will work. The functionality is not affected at all. Okay, so I'm going to close that. Now over here, we also have a button that has been added over here. So again, this is a module inside a module. Okay, so moving on, we have this menu here. And again, if I click on this plus button, notice what we've managed to achieve here. Now, this is really, really, really cool. So this is fantastic if you have a restaurant and you want to add your pricing. And this is how you would do it. Okay, so that's another example. So if you want to download uh, this layout itself, it can be found in the blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So you can just go ahead and download this layout and you can just replace this text or even customize this text to whatever uh, works with your site. You can also even add background colors and so on. But this is how you add a module inside a module. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.